Luke, get this. When I was in fourth grade, my sister and I got into a massive argument. And she made me so angry that I chased her throughout the house. She ran to the bathroom, she shut the door, and she locked it. And with all my speed and all my momentum, I ran into the door. The door broke off the hinges, fell and hit the ground. I knew that when my dad got home, I was gonna be in so much trouble. There was no way I could tell my dad the truth. You see, if you imagine this structure here as the trust that my dad and I had built over time, I was about to begin chipping away at this structure by telling lies. When he came in the door, I said, Dad, you're never gonna believe this. The door to the bathroom fell off the hinges and I have no idea what happened. You see, what I didn't know, Loop, is that my dad already knew the truth. My sister had already told him and I was breaking down trust that we had built over time. Every single one of us has told a lie. We've all lied before because we felt like it was easier to do. Maybe you put the blame on somebody else and you said they did it, it was their fault. Or maybe you did what I did and you lied after lie after lie after lie and it was a slippery slope and now you have holes in the foundation of your trust. But did you know that God loves truth and he wants us to pursue truth as often as possible? Adam and Eve in the garden, they chose to pursue a lie and they didn't choose truth and it wasn't the best plan for them. It wasn't pursuing God's plan. God has a plan for every single one of us and, and when we chase after truth, we are pursuing that plan. Maybe you've lied before and maybe you know that it's time you're gonna begin telling the truth. And if you have lied, know this, that our God loves us so much that he offers this thing called forgiveness. And slowly but surely, if we ask for forgiveness, we can begin to repair the holes and rebuild our trust. Loop, I wanna challenge you to tell the truth. It may not always be easy, but it's always worth it.